Howdy duty guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. I'm trying to keep quiet here because it's still pretty early in the morning. So, I pretty much covered everything here. I think it's time to head for Ridley's hideout. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and refill up on super missiles, power bombs, and all that jazz. I pondered earlier, like, how it is that Samus' ship could replicate those items, even though she didn't have them when she came here. Probably what happened is she brought one back. Well, did I not? I probably came up with that theory already. Well, what I was thinking is that her suit maybe just converts energy into those items or something, so she just takes energy from the ship and it converts them into whatever. I don't know, it's not really a big deal, but... And I'm pretty sure this is the quickest way. Whoop. Not if I keep doing that. Oh, great, we gotta use power bombs. Okay. Okay, so there's really not much to say. Man, I am tired, I tell ya. I, <laughs> I spent all weekend at thespeedgamers.com, and then... Uh, let me see, Monday... Monday I got up at like 11 o'clock at night. Or wait, well, maybe that was Sunday. That was a Sunday. Sunday I got up at 11 o'clock at night to go into work that night. And I got off, and... At around 2 in the afternoon, when I've been up for already 15 hours, then I find out like that my sister's doing something that night, and they are probably going to be around 8 o'clock or so in the evening that they're going to be doing it. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I've just been up for 15 hours, and they're doing something in 6 hours. I guess I better get some sleep. So, but then I thought, well, you know, it's better to just get, like, 2 or 3 hours of sleep rather than to get 4 or 5, because if you get 4 or 5, you're going to be, like, really tired, and I've kind of figured that out lately. But... I don't know why, I, you know, I'm just now figuring that out at the age of 32, I mean, hello. Just things are always changing, what works one year won't always work the next, you just never know. So much changes. Alright, let us move along, shall we? But yeah, so finally things are getting back to normal around here again, and that's so nice too. Let me tell ya, I'm so happy to be sitting here recording this today. So much different. This is the entrance to Norfair, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to feel really stupid if it's not. <clears throat> so we'll have to check our map and see what the quickest way is. Well, we don't have to check the map to see which way. I just want to make sure that... I know exactly. Wow. There is some unexplored area down there. Huh. I can't believe there's nothing there. Okay, so, yeah, but I got about, like, three hours of sleep. I ended up getting about three hours of sleep before... Wait a minute. I'm not even sure this is the right way. Oh, I'm way over there. What the heck am I... Oh, I didn't realize where I was. Okay, <laughs> silly me. Good lord. I'm just being stupid now. You see, I was thinking I was going to get to Ridley's hideout in this video. I've been going for three minutes now. So, I'm not really... Yeah, I'm still kind of recovering from that. I ended up going to bed at like 3.30 yesterday. And, uh, thought there was going to be a door there. Oh, well. Here we go. But, um, yeah, so after we got done with what we were doing that night, I came back to bed and I went straight to sleep at like midnight. And... I pretty much slept for another six hours, and now I'm up and it's 6.30. Well, actually, now it's 8.19, but... Oops, no, that was the worst thing I could have done. Oops, oh, well, that's not going to kill me, thank God. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking here. I'm not thinking, that's the thing. I don't have to think on my days off, so I try to do as little of that as possible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! even looks like old school Metroid with those blocks there. And see, this is what I tried to do when I was young. What's, what's kind of cool, even though it doesn't really serve any purpose, is that you can get up here and actually see where you're trying to go. And you might even want to try to bomb stuff here, like as a beginner. If you've never played before, you figure, well, there's got to be something bombable there, because why would they let you go all that way and see that much just to not let you in? But turns out you got to go all the way down here, and the screen is a mess. And what I used to think you had to do, because I didn't realize you could jump more than two times with the space jump, I thought you had to do, like, one jump from on top of this thing, and then just make your second jump, like, really good. Uh, I don't know how I ever managed to do it, but 
once I found out that you could do more than one jump, one extra jump, it was a lot easier. What is this, a save point? Okay. Well, we're okay. So I've been playing this for a while now, and I haven't really come up with anything good yet, but I'm hoping I can in the near future here. I'm going to try to come up with some lyrics for Ridley's Hideout, so I'm going to shut up here, and as I, I'll dub them in later or something, so... So see ya. Ridley's Hideout, come prepare to meet your doom. Ridley's Hideout, hotter than Reese Witherspoon. Rid, you stole my baby Metroid long ago. Now I've come to take it back. Ho 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 ho. I am not alone. I have my chosen friends. You may have your armor. I've got my depends. So you think you'll beat me down? Don't make me scoff. I will shove it up your ass and snap it off. Baby Metroid, hang on tight. I'm coming down to set things right. I know that it's okay so long as we have... Oh man. Okay, so I'm just gonna start talking again here. I don't know if I should come up with like a full-length version of that or something. I'm not sure how far the music got before I picked up the item, but... Oh, great. Oh, sure, yeah, that was a perfect spot to stand. For some reason, I always like to use charge shots here. I don't know why, they just seem more effective, actually. Plus, they're unlimited, so that feels better, you know, about that. Well, you're not charging up your charge shot if you're doing that, right? Stay up here and float for a while. Oh dear. Oh man, get some lag here. Okay, stop using that excuse, even though it's true. Whatever. Whoa, nice jump. Oh, I could have shot those and probably gained some energy for it. Oh well. There we go, he's dead. No problemo. No problemo. Technically, no problemo is actually the correct pronunciation of that. Yeah, give me my energy, you bitch. Now, there's actually something up here, but I think you have to have the screw attack to get it, so we're gonna pick that up now. Yay! One of the coolest items in Metroid history. Uh-oh. Oh, cool. Maybe you should listen to my answering machine message. Um, I'm gonna turn it up. Hopefully you can hear this. It's really funny. Here it goes. Okay, that was, it's a little long, but eh, nobody's going to leave a message because nobody ever does. It's all spam calls, I tell you. Starting at 8 in the morning and going straight on through 8 at night, pretty much. <laughs> Some days, as many as 8 or 10. Okay, so, yeah, haha. -ha. Alright, let's see. I'm pretty sure that's just a dead end right there, but I'm going to check anyway. Because my memory's far from flawless. You know, I'm actually going to do it. I'm actually going to get it. I'm surprised how much energy I lost there. So everybody seems pretty stoked for my fight with Ridley. I think that's kind of funny because, because I always thought Ridley was actually kind of easy in this game. Can't you go up there? No, you can't. Well, you never know in this place, I'm telling you. Yeah, we're right under the entrance now. I keep wondering what would have happened if I would have gone to the right. Oops, no, no. Try to get some speed up here so we're not doing slow space jumps here. Did I just have... Yeah, I got 50 super missiles now. How about that? Nice. And I think this is where the paths join up. You got this hole up here that leads into the other place. I really should have looked at a map of this place, I think, before I... Because I didn't actually look at the map before I went in just now, so I'm kind of... Oh, great. I just got the plasma beam, which made those monsters who were forever invulnerable, vulnerable. And then guess what? Just after I get it, then they get invulnerable again. They just get a little bit stronger, enough to the point that they're... Whatever. I guess you have to use charge shots. Oh, I'm gonna check something out here. 
Where does that door go? How in the world? Okay, that does go back to the entrance. I know there's nothing there then. So we pretty much come full circle here. Maybe I'll just stop here and we'll figure the rest of this place out later. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get Ridley in the next video, but I guess we'll see. Okay, so bye, take care, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody.